again, I'm going to be making a short video on how to use Casio FX991 as your complex number for the mode you have both one and not two. Then the two, the second part, the complex number part. Now let's do a very simple example. Im imagine I have 0 0.5i, which is which means that um, is 0.5 the imaginary part, and then um, I want it in angle form. I do I do this? The first thing I'll do is I press equal to. Now I will now press shift plus the addition sign and then this shows that my angle, my next answer will come in angle form. Now this gives me that the, <clears throat> this is 0.5 and if I press shift answer again it will give me the angle. You will always see the small dot at this side. This means it's 0.05 angle 90 which is very very simple. Now. Doing the reverse of the same thing, if I want to find um, 15 angle 25, if I want to calculate this and I want to find the real part and the imaginary part, how do I do it? I press my answer, which I will press equal to, and uh, what do I have? I have 13.59. And um, what, how do I get the imaginary part? I just press shift answer. This will give me the imaginary part. Now, this same thing applies to when you are doing addition or subtraction. Let me do a very simple example. 3i plus 5, 5i. Now, this is equal to what? 8i. How do I convert it? I'll shift, enter in angular form. This is equal to what? 8 and uh, what will be? What would be my um, angle? My angle is still 90. Let me try 2.5 i plus 0 0.25. 0, yeah, 0.025 i. 2.5 i plus 0. Point, plus 0 0.025 i will give you 2.52 um, i. And then you press shift angle. That is your answer should be in imaginary form. This will be equal to what and then um, what will be our angle shift answer the angle is still 90 so if you have any comments any questions you can always send it to me just comment on my comment box and i will reply you as soon as i can Thank